Okay, how's everybody doing? Good morning. All right, check it out. Today we're going to talk about the 90 F2 Simicron. Boom. Hang tight. Here we go. I'm going to show you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and uh, show you some images. And uh, let's just sit back and talk about it. Get yourself a coffee and let's see what's up. Here we go. Peace. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the size and the weight. So let's jump into that. Okay, the size of it. This is the size of it if you're looking top down, right? This is on the um, profile. And this is head on. Look at the size of that glass. That is a big piece of glass. Um, retractable lens hood, right? And then... Um, one thing to note is as you get closer, obviously the lens is going to extend, so it's going to appear a lot longer. But I tend to live back here in the back end, so it is not too bad. Boom. Okay, so the size. The size isn't too big. I mean, relatively compared to some of the other lenses out there, um, or, you know, if you were to carry a DSLR and, and like a, a 75 or I used to have an 85 millimeter. Um, and that thing can get ginormous. So once again, like uh, with the small footprint, uh, even though it's a long lens, it still has a small footprint. Okay, let's talk about the weight. So the, the, the weight of it is not super bad. Um, I mean, it is a big piece of glass, so you should be expecting it to weigh a little bit, um, but nothing serious. Of, of course, I have the 240. It's already a heavy camera compared to the M10 or any of the other uh, M bodies, but... Um, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so let me uh, point out some of the quirks. The, one of the biggest quirks I would say is the focusing ring uh, is a little uh, tight, I would say. It's like, it's, 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 um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a little tight. Uh, I'll show you that here. So this is it. It's not like super like easy. Um, Right, that's me trying to go fast. I think, um, and it's the first thing people realize when they pick up the camera, or they want to use the lens, or you know, I have my, I have it on there, and they're like, "Oh, let me try it out." Um, one of the first things people say is like, "Wow, the focusing is really tight." Um, and I think that's so you can get critical focus because I, I feel like if it was too loose, you would fly past like where you need to be. So um, I actually don't mind it being that tight. Uh, you just can't be very like quick about stuff. Um, so that's just something to think about. Uh, another quirk would be um, how long it gets. Let me show you this. So if you're focusing in tight, right, I think I said this already, but check it out. All right, if I'm trying to get in tight then it's obviously gonna get longer, and once again, if you put the lens hit on, then it can get super long and then it looks a little crazy. But um, that's I mean, I don't really live there. So another thing to note would be um, because it's a long lens. When you look through the rangefinder, uh, it will cover the bottom third of the frame. And I'll see if I can show you guys that here in a second. So there it is, covering the bottom third of the frame. That's the best I can do right now. Okay, so pros and cons. Let's get into the pros and cons, because that's basically it for the camera. Um, pros is, uh, I think it's extremely sharp at F2. Uh, I love it as a, as a carry around, like uh, environmental portraits or you know street portraits kind of lens. Um, I don't mind the weight. I don't think the weight is that bad. Um, I don't think the size is that bad. I mean, I've, I've had other brands, camera brands and other focal, uh, all their lenses at this focal length, if not a little smaller, like 85, and it is ridiculous. So um, I don't think it's that big. Um, those would be the pros for me. So it's, a, it, it's, I like the size, right? It still keeps my setup very small. Um, the image quality is amazing. Obviously it's like a lens, um, but at F2, it's even very, very good. Um, and the weight isn't that bad. So let's get into the cons. So the cons, as for a Leica lens, one of the cons is it's not, it's not six bit coded. That could be a con for people. So not six bit coded and um, 
the size, the size and weight can be a very big turnoff for people. Um, but those are like the biggest cons I can think of right now. Okay, the EVF, that's what your setup is gonna look like if you put the EVF on there, right? The EVF is very cool. Um, it could help you in a pinch, but um, let me explain more about that. So the EVF, I don't carry it as much as I probably should. And the reason being is um, I don't, I don't really like the lag too much. It's like you shoot and then it takes it a second to, um, to, you know, get, so you could look through the EVF again. And uh, I don't know, it's not like I'm using a 90 uh, that quickly where I would need that. Um, but I don't know. I just don't like it. Uh, maybe I'm just used to just shooting via rangefinder, but um, that is a little bit annoying to me. Uh, workaround is you can set it so it displays the image. So instead of it just shooting and you're waiting like a second or two for it to like your your um, to be able to look through it again, uh, at least that one or two seconds uh, you get to see the image you shot, which is kind of a workaround, a, a, a way of bypassing or, or tolerating the two second delay. Um, I, but I really, I've tried it, I took it out and it's nothing that I'm super uh, enthused about, but um, there you have it. That was the last bit that I wanted to cover. Um, let's show some images. Let's get into some images. Okay, I'm just showing this image so that you can see how the bokeh works. Uh, this one as well, isolating the image. And of course, throwing a portrait shot. So there you go. Oh, and I almost forgot. Uh, if you like this and you like the way it was done this time, actually I did it this time on the iPhone, the iPhone 14. So let me know what you think uh, if I should continue doing more with this or the last video I did was with the Q as my camera, but um, let me know what's up. Uh, if you like the 90 or if you uh, have a 90, also tell me about it. Uh, I want the 75. If you have a 75, please let me know how the 75 works for you. Um, till then, uh, see you guys next month. Peace.